Today we're going to be looking at a Nintendo GameCube where the lid does not stay closed. Let's open it up and fix it. This is a game bit driver to open up the GameCube. And the top just comes off and we'll move this aside all we need to look at is this right here taking a look here it if I force it back it's kind of working um, but it sticks when you press it so I'm assuming this is just kind of dirty uh, but we'll we'll take this little mechanism apart and get a closer look just going to use a basic Phillips screwdriver. This thing should just pop out. There we go. And the button itself, there's these two tabs. Squeeze them. Pull that button through. So this is all we're dealing with. Let's take that spring out. Um, doesn't look too bad. This, eh, it's a little dirty, a little sticky. So we'll clean this and everything really. And for this, alcohol and a Q-tip. We're also going to clean out this spot in the lid where the little mechanism catches. And another thing I noticed, the part that catches in that lid is really ground up. So I'm actually going to use some fine sandpaper and smooth that out a little bit. Here's a piece of whatever I had. I think it's it's either 1500 or 2000 and we'll just sand this, smooth it out. So I've got rid of most of the rough burrs and we're gonna leave it in this condition. So with these three pieces clean and dry, we'll start putting this back together. Shoot this in. Now with both of these screws, you don't want to have them too tight because that's actually going to push against this black piece and inhibit its motion. So I think I've got it in a pretty good state. Let's check it. Oh, that feels much better. So we'll slide this back on. And we are done. So really easy fix. Usually it's just this button or that little mechanism we looked at earlier is just gunked up or the screws are too tight or something like that. But uh, really quick, easy fix. And now you don't have to tape your lid shut. So thanks for watching.